Hello everyone, I'm Leah Rodenberg, Commission Chair with Volunteer Iowa. Welcome to the 2021 Virtual Governors Volunteer Awards. We are so excited to welcome awardees, nominees, family and friends for this year's special recognition event. We hope you've enjoyed the slideshow highlighting some of the amazing people we're honoring this year. While this ceremony is a bit different, we are thrilled to be able to recognize so many hardworking and dedicated volunteers today. At Volunteer Iowa, we say volunteering improves lives and strengthens communities. And this group of awardees is a shining example of our vision of service. As volunteers, you lifted up your communities and our state during one of the most difficult times we've seen. We thank you for your dedication and service through the pandemic, the derecho, and beyond. And now it is my privilege to introduce our governor, the Honorable Kim Reynolds, to kick off the awards. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the 37th Annual Iowa Governor's Volunteer Awards honoring 2020 and 2021 awardees. It's always a privilege to recognize the service of Iowans, but this year's celebration is especially significant because it comes in the wake of one of the most difficult times in Iowa's history. We faced not one, but two far-reaching crises, and each of you answered the call to serve when it was needed the most. As we continue to recover from the pandemic and the derecho, it is truly an honor to celebrate that selfless dedication to service. I'm here first and foremost to express my sincere gratitude to each of you on behalf of all Iowans. I'm amazed at the creativity and the perseverance this year's awardees have shown in their volunteer work. Through periods of isolation and uncertainty, you found innovative ways to support and to sustain one another. You donated and delivered food, PPE, and essential supplies to the most vulnerable Iowans. You shared vaccination information online, and you even found ways to conduct vital fundraisers, community meetings, and mentoring virtually. You cleaned highways and tree-damaged streets and homes, and you provided shelter, services, and education to our seniors and our children. In other words, even the worst disasters couldn't stop you from showing up to hospitals and clinics, to schools, food banks, homes, libraries, and community centers. Despite the toughest of times, each of you dedicated yourselves to something greater and growing and strengthening your commitment to your neighbors and our state. And that spirit of service is what we cherish most in Iowans and what we're here to celebrate today. By volunteering, you've contributed to a healthier, more resilient Iowa, and we are grateful and will feel your impact for years to come. You know, this year marks nearly 40 years of these ceremonies in Iowa, and today we're recognizing nearly 800 individuals and organizations who were nominated by their communities for their exemplary service in every corner of the state. And that's over 250 cities and towns. We're also recognizing several organizations and individuals who served their communities from five to 40 years for an incredible combined total of 2,989 years. And finally, a special thank you to all of the nominators and area coordinators who took the time to acknowledge the volunteers in their community. This ceremony, it absolutely could not happen without you. So my heartfelt congratulations and gratitude to all of the awardees. You've earned it this year like never before. Welcome and congratulations to all awardees, nominators, and friends and family here today. I want to echo Leah's and Governor Reynolds' comments and extend my most sincere gratitude for the incredible service that we've seen from Iowans these past few years. You've shown us the best of yourselves in this state. As part of this administration's response to the COVID-19 pandemic, I served as chair of the Feeding Iowans Task Force, where we saw the impact of volunteers every day across the state, stocking pantries, packaging and delivering meals and emergency supplies, harvesting and rescuing healthy food for donation, recruiting more volunteers and vital donations, and more. We heard from so many nominators about volunteers who never faltered, who kept showing up often multiple times a week to ensure families were fed, animals cared for, 
in that Iowans got the help they needed. I want to take this opportunity to extend my gratitude to all the volunteers who stepped up and adapted their service to meet the needs of Iowans over the past year. You've made a difference in your organization, in your greater community, and across this state. And it's a privilege to be able to recognize you today. It's my honor to present the awardees by region for this year's ceremonies. This is one of the few times in the history of the Governor's Volunteer Awards that we're able to recognize awardees all in one ceremony. As the Governor said, nearly 800 individuals and groups. We wish we could be with you all and thank you in person, but we do appreciate the unique opportunity to recognize each of you today. For the first time, we'll be hearing from different speakers here in a minute about the unique service regions across the state, after which we'll present the awardees for each region. So without further ado, let's hear more from each of our regions about the amazing service that we're Hi, my name is Ashley Allen and I'm the Central Iowa Coordinator for the Governor's Volunteer Awards. The Central Iowa region of the Governor's Volunteer Awards has an astounding amount of nominations for the 2020-2021 year. Central Iowa has 78 groups and 69 individuals nominated, with a total length of service of 12 years and 36 years, respectively. These groups and individuals have volunteered in our community in many different areas. Many have overcome fears of the COVID-19 pandemic in order to make sure that our community is well taken care of. A few key areas of service this past year are Adopt a Highway, Golden Dome, Meals for the Heartland, Disaster Relief, Youth Services and Support, and many others. Countless lives have been changed because of these volunteers. On behalf of Central Iowa, I would like to thank every individual and group that has served our local community. You are what makes our community strong and united. Our community is a better place because of all of you. Thank you for your strength, determination, and compassion towards those that you have helped. And now presenting the 2020 and 2021 awardees for Central Iowa. Hi, my name is Sharon Koshi, and I'm the incoming chair of Volunteer Iowa. 
thank you so much for being part of this ceremony as we recognize all the deserving group and individual awardees. As we bring this ceremony to a close, we again extend our sincere thanks. We celebrate your service and what it has given back to all of us, resilience, strength, and connection through an incredibly difficult year. As the incoming chair of Volunteer Iowa, I hope to continue to extend this tradition of volunteerism that makes Iowa such a great place to live, work, and play. To this exceptional group of awardees, thank you again for your service.